wanted, let's manifest it together. I wanted an Hermes. Mess. Mess. Hermes. <laughs> I'm like, had a coma or something. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Kenny, and I'm addicted to luxury handbags and especially pre-loved luxury shopping because who doesn't want to save money while still enjoying this luxury? So today I'll be talking about my 2021 luxury wish list. So this year, I wanted to invest on items in my wardrobe that I actually would benefit from, especially in my sense of style and my aesthetics. And there's still bags in this, don't worry. Um, if you are interested to know what I have on my list, um, then continue watching. So there are items here that are long term that I can't afford to shelve out in one go. So keep in mind. So the first bag bag that I wanted to share or is in my wish list is the Prada brick bag. Now it's actually sold out mostly on the Prada website but since it's been released I've been so drawn to it because it's quite similar to the Love Bay puzzle bag and I love the masculine like hard edge of this bag but for some reason I always get sidetracked and always think that I mean should I just put the funds towards a Chanel bag then you know having a Prada bag because nowadays to me when I think about buying bags it's always like such a big investment and I always think that Chanel is a better investment in terms of that and because there's always a back-to-back -back price increase and to me that's a safer you know <clears throat> like decision in buying bags than just buying something that you might not get all your money back if you if that makes sense and so for some reason always like there's a listing on eBay that I'm following um, with uh, for the Prada brick bag and yeah it always comes down to should I just get a Chanel bag but that bag is fantastic it's got a top handle you can crossbody it and the Prada Safiano leather, you know, it's hardy and stiff and I think that will wear and tear very well, especially like myself who takes care of my bags carefully. And yeah, maybe if a really good deal hits me up, then I'll just pull the trigger. Because sometimes when you see a deal, you just don't think twice and you just buy it now. Especially on eBay. And yeah, right. Let's move on to the second one. It's the Loewe puzzle bag in the small size. I know, I've got two of them now, but uh, the bitch cannot help it. <laughs> but hear me out, I wanted it in the white color. Just like the white sneakers, it will pair well with pretty much anything in my wardrobe. In this kind of silhouette, with a white bag, I'll be like the what the French flag whatever <laughs> but I just love a white bag and I remember when I was still in high school I've got this white like messenger style bag that I've used to death because it just looks good with anything with anything like just like similar to those white sneakers you know cannot go wrong with it and I just love the functionality the design of the low Eve puzzle bag but yeah, that's on the wish list. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so let's move on to Chanel. I am craving for a navy classic flap in the small size. Now, this is a little bit controversial because I'm just sick of seeing people unboxing classic flaps in the black gold hardware. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I thought it's so overplayed and I feel like everyone has this bag, like who doesn't have one, <laughs> like right now. It's I, it's turning into the Neverfull and the Speedy kind of status that, you know, all their daughters and their mothers has it kind of thing. But I just love the classic flap in the navy, in the smaller grain. And that price point is just crazy, but 
I can put it on the wish list, you know? You can only wish <laughs> and dream. There's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, I'll put it on the wish list. Let's see if it will make me buy it. <laughs> but I don't think I will buy it really. But I just want to manifest it, you know? Nothing wrong with manifesting things. It might pop up for the right price. Okay, so let's move on to clothing pieces. Now, I've been wearing a lot of navies. If <clears throat> you're unfamiliar, I love navy. And I've come across this brand on Matches Fashion. It's called Ray, spelled as R-A-E-Y. And they make these like wool, like thick pants, woolen pants. And I've seen one listed for, for $100 and it's now 60% off. So it's still $200, but and sometimes when I know that I needed something like this navy woolen pants, I just always put it on the back burner most of the time because I'm thinking I can buy something cheaper on ASOS or on H&M and put the funds towards a bag. Like I'm always thinking that way. Um, I know it's a safer way, you know, to look after your money as well by by, by not buying things that is disposable and that you can't resell in the end but I think this year I just wanted to buy something really good and nice that is an investment piece in my wardrobe that I will use over and over and this one looks very well made and it's made in Italy as well and it's virgin wool so I just might probably pull the trigger I can always return it if it doesn't fit um, but yeah, like it's currently on 60% off on Matches Fashion, so yeah, I think I would. Alright, <clears throat> okay, another one, I've been, it's inspired by this YouTuber, Daniel Simmons. He's got a very Scandinavian minimal aesthetic, very clean look, and I love his principle behind his fashion and his style and <clears throat> he's got this Gucci like horse bit I think it's a 1953 um, horse bit with a chunky like sole and I like that mesh of design to his style that a very clean like look on the top and then something a little bit more casual with like an element of that horse bit that makes it a little bit more classy and elegant and then just is something about that that gets me. But yeah, I I I might pull the trigger. I might. If it goes on sale then I probably will. So I'm I'm also thinking about adding a Max Mara navy wool coat. And if you aren't aware, I've got the camel one, but yeah, that one's like a blanket. It just keeps you toasty and warm, especially on very like horrid like winters. When you go out on the streets, it just just keeps you toasty. So I'm thinking, I don't have a very nice like navy wool coat. I do have one from Zara, but it's not lined and it's harder sometimes to put your knits um, over it. But I just there's no like polyester lining and it's quite hard to fit it inside but yeah that navy max mara wool coat i'm looking at on like pre love websites and so this bag is the piaster resistance of this wish list and i wanted let's manifest it together i wanted an hermes hermes <laughs> oh, like had a coma or something i wanted to add an hermes birkin 30 in the blue ink or in the indigo color. Now I've seen this bag in person and it's a showstopper, at least for me. <laughs> it's so stunning. Like I wanted it in the palladium hardware as well because the gold looks a little bit serious and yeah, I think I love it in this like silver color. It makes it a little bit more modern and not too serious. But yeah, I probably not in the near like year or in the next year. I will need to save a little bit um, on the sides because it's a big purchase. <clears throat> but I will definitely want to add an Hermes bag. And 
yeah. I hope in Paris or somewhere special. But yeah, um, it's just nice to have some like like a wish list to keep you on track, to keep you on focus, and not to get sidetracked all the time. But to me, it's this is not the case because I buy my items on the pre market most of the time, and so I have to really like fit my expectations and not to be like, oh my gosh, I have to have it in the gold highway, I have to have this in this kind of combination because because that's just not the case um, on the pre-love market but which I like as well sometimes and you know it's a little it's more exciting than hunting it down on the stove because you know, where's the fun in that? <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this short video and oh my gosh thank you so much for subscribing we hit 2k already and you guys are my rock um, you just keep me coming back to do more videos and I appreciate that so so much and thank you guys I love you I love you so much like I'm not gonna cry okay <laughs> but I do love you guys thank you so much thank you I really appreciate you and I hope you stay happy guys all right <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.